Welcome to Celebrity Cars. We got ourselves a CSX Cobra. Uh, once again, welcome to Celebrity Cars. Uh, we, we just got this car in for sale. And uh, why I'm here is uh, to go over it kind of sort of with a fine tooth comb, uh, as they say, to let you know the overall condition of this car. Uh, in case you don't want to get off your, in case you don't want to get on a plane, uh, in case you don't want to leave the office, uh, and uh, you'd like to pick this car up and have it at home. So uh, if you're a big condition person, you'd want to know if there's any rust, scratches, uh, dents on any of our cars. And uh, this one happens to be extra awesome. I will not be picking out a whole lot of scratches and uh, nicks and chunks because there barely are any. But the ones that I do find, I'm going to let you know where they are. That's the deal. That's why you're watching this video right now. So I can uh, get up and close and maybe show you what normal videos can't. So that's what my attempt is here with every one of our cars that we sell here in the showroom. Is to get up close and personal. So you know exactly what you're buying in case you would la not like to travel. So uh, we've got a Wim Wimbledon white here. Nice blue stripes. Very, very popular uh, color combination on this ride and has been for many years. We're gonna start off with the front of the car. There's only a handful of miles on this car. It's less than 300. And uh, there's not a whole lot of marks on this car because uh, there's less than 300 miles on it. But I'm gonna get uh, once again up and close and personal here to show you that there are no nicks. I'm not even sure there are any rock chips up here or just normal driving wear that we find on just about every car that we get in here. But when it comes to this car, it's darn downright ready to go. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna spend some time here as I get nitty gritty with this to make sure that my video camera is in focus and you can see things clearly once again as if you were here. So where I can stick this camera, I'm going to stick it. Headlight bezels and glass are in perfect shape. Both sides, driver's side, passenger side. Get a good look at these stripes. It's like somebody was uh, Touching this after I wiped it down. These are just fingerprints, folks. There are no scratches. There's no abrasions in the paint, okay? We have uh, skylights in the showroom. I'm gonna focus in on one now. There's the paint. Some good reflection action there. I'm still trying to get the perfect angle, but what I'm trying to do is focus in 
on the paint itself so you can see how clear it is of uh, any abrasions or chips or rocks. There are no little black nicks that stick out at me. There's your hood. We've covered it. I've got nothing to share. I'll back up a little bit so you can get a good look at it yourself. Once again, it's just shiny white Wimbledon paint. Okay, the chrome around the windshield. The windshield, the visors. Perfect shape, folks. The little chunk sticking out of the windshield. Very clean. Windshield wipers looking in almost perfect condition. All right, go down the side of the car here. Barely looks like any exhaust has even gone through these exhaust pipes. There's no discoloration. Nice flat gray, black, if you will. Perfect shape. Let's get a look at the paint down towards the bottom. I do not see any chips, any road wear. Just some dirt. Here's where your arm would lay as you're driving down the road. I don't see any hard scratches or swirls in the paint. This section right here, right before the driver's side, uh, uh, a rear wheel, we have this fairing here. It likes to attract a lot of rock chips on any normal Cobra. And uh, it seems we have potentially itty bitty ones, but I am uh, pretty confident that a detailer can make these disappear. They do not seem to be in the paint, but maybe just a, a few small ones along this section right here. I will get the camera down so I can attempt for you to see it as clear as you can. This seems to be like one of the only ones that really stick out. Oh, sorry, it's dirt. Yeah, I'm already spending entirely too much time on this section here, folks. I'm doing it out of all due respect. I want you to see everything on the car. Um, I'm just two inches from it. The only other person that will be two inches from it is your detailer and yourself, but you can't see any of these little marks if you get any more than two feet away. So just want you to know that uh, what's going on with the car, simple as that. Okay, uh, working our way behind the driver's seat. We'll get to the interior in just a minute. This, once again, paint is beautiful white. I am uh, scanning it with my eyes as well as this camera. We just have a little bit of dirt here and there. There are no abrasions, the chrome uh, roll bar is in perfect shape behind the driver's head. And let's continue with the body and the paint and work our way down the driver's side, rear quarter. I don't see anything back here, except maybe this location right here, which would need uh, a little bit of wax and polish. Uh, and that would disappear, or uh, just a good uh, uh, microfiber towel. That might just be dirt. Uh, just so you know what I'm looking at, there's no cracks in the paint. Um, you can't really see any of that at all. Uh, once again, all due respect to the buyer, I want them to know everything. Here's your real tail light. Still looks new. It's towing brackets look new. Stripes area here, these beautiful blue stripes. 
So far, I've found nothing on these blue stripes. They're brilliant. They're nice and shiny. No scratches. Let's follow this blue stripe all the way up. We'll do a cool coverage real quick of the interior. On our way. No rock chips, no scratches. Here's your passenger side tail light once again. Uh, it looks like, oh, here. Uh, we have small crack in the rubber around the passenger side tail light. See that? Not a big deal, not falling off. It's not all the way through, but it's a crack. A crack is a crack. a small mark in the paint down here in the back which would definitely be removed with some uh, polish no doubt about it got a good reflection of the rest of the showroom here in this white Wimbledon paint Let's get down to this side that I addressed on the other side of the car. I'll back up a little bit so you know where I'm going. This is the passenger side. We're gonna go down here and look at this louver sticking out and this fender down here and see how much road wear we have. I'm not going to touch it at all. I'm just gonna make sure that the camera's in focus so you can see. You're asking, what are they? These are very small nicks in the paint. I am 100% sure that some polish will remove most of these, but there are some small ones that might have gone a little bit further than they were supposed to. But once again, it's still beautiful white shiny paint. You've seen that clearly. I want to back up so you know the validity of what you were looking at. And as you can see, and me standing here, it is not something my eyes capture. So you've got a little bit of stuff there. And uh, that's, that's all there is to it. Now I'm going to work my way down above the side pipe here on the passenger side. Once again, I see beautiful paint. There's potentially a few small rock chips, just like on the fa uh, on the side bumper that I just showed you. Um, this thing I'm rubbing right now is a bug that came off in my hand. Um, very, very minor stuff here, folks. Very, very minor stuff. Okay, I'm gonna back away once again so you can see what I'm looking at. And how close I was. Okay, we're gonna do a real quick look at the windshield again because uh, I've already done the driver's side. I want you to see the chrome on this side. Got some fancy Carol Shelby stickers. Beautiful chrome, beautiful visors. We're in good shape. Okay, here, once again, we have a small area here. Um, this is a polish and um, polish and wax. This is on the surface. I think it's just some crud that uh, I missed and uh, this can pretty much get wiped off right there. Nothing to be afraid of, folks. And let's finish the front passenger side fender. This is where we began our journey here at the front of the car, looking at the paint. That's just a bug, it's gone. What I haven't looked at yet are the wheels. Okay, these are real knockoffs. Every one of them.
are in beautiful shape. No curb rash, no chunk sticking out of the wheel. They're not bent. Okay. Here's your driver's side rear wheel and tire. Uh, this one seems to maybe want uh, a little extra polish done to it, but uh, it's nothing's eroded or anything. Get a good shot at some tread here as we go around. Let's look underneath the car while we make our way over to the passenger side. Okay, uh, passenger side rear wheel and tire. Once again, no curb rash. Might need a little extra polish, but uh, other than that, they are in super, super, super nice condition. Not sure if I got the exhaust on the passenger side here yet. So here you go. Also, it looks like no exhaust is flown through it yet. Nice flat black paint. Okay, I know you're all waiting to see the power plant. We'll get to that in just a minute, but here's your interior. Kyle Shelby Signature. This was uh, an 07 or 08 creation CSX number, I do not know. Uh, CSX number 4948. Okay. The gauges are look as new they're in perfect shape switches the buttons uh, the writing or inscriptions are coming off here's your gear shift it's in super shape park brake works excellent seat belts are all clean they're nice the seats are in perfect shape nice black leather grab a hold of this here idea plenty of moisture many years until any cracking goes on super shape quality stuff there's your driver's seat we'll get a little closer when I get over there No surprises. Battery terminals are located behind the passenger seat. And your driver's seat, just as nice as the passenger seat. All right, let's pop the trunk open so you can get a look in here. This could turn out better back here, but uh, just so you know, there are at least uh, 70 photographs of this car. Right next to the video button that you clicked on, you can probably see better shots of this trunk. Be it that way. Okay. The moment you've all been waiting for. From what I understand, this motor is from the mid-60s. It's a 428 motor with some assembling. Brought it to a 427 cubic inch. Got your side oiler up there. Uh, this is a very, very rare motor from what I understand. 
It came out of a galaxy of some sort uh, back in the mid 60s, a racing galaxy of some sort back in the 60s. Uh, it's a high horsepower motor. It is extremely authentic. And uh, once again, please read the description for the exact numbers and uh, how this motor was built. and we'll get a good look at it from this side as well. There you go, folks. That about covers it. Thanks for uh, inquiring on this really cool CSX Cobra. If you have any more questions, give us a call at 702-818-1031. Or check out CelebrityCars.com where you can find out the entire description on this car. Where it came from, when it was built, its credentials, and all those things. See you soon. Thanks very much.